What's up guys, it's Tony here and welcome back to Man Cave Studios. Last time on Sports Reactions, I watched Australia vs. Ireland Rugby. And rugby is the most complicated and in my opinion stupid sport that I have ever seen. And before that I thought it was lacrosse, but I already watched the lacrosse as part of the series and that was actually a pretty good sport in my opinion. In fact, right after I finished watching the lacrosse thing, I went and googled the Philadelphia lacrosse team that I'd heard a bit about and I saw that they were playing their inaugural season in 2019 at the Wells Fargo Center so that's pretty cool and I might actually go check that out one time. If they have games on NBC Sports I might even check that out. But anyway we've had a pretty decent sport that I was wrong about all along and we've had a pretty dumb sport that I was kind of right about all along. So now we're going to go to field hockey. And of course, I have a history with field hockey too. Last year I signed up to work as a TV crew for a field hockey game at my school and I had no idea what was going on. So we're going to see if watching field hockey will change my opinion. Like an actual professional game of field hockey. This is the US women's national team against the Netherlands. I don't think that there are, um, that there's a... I guess men's field hockey. Okay, move your move your face a bit far away from the mic there. Um, okay, there you go. The the other girls got it right with the microphone. I was gonna say they should be checking this. Sounds like a USL broadcast in all honesty. All right, we've started. Oh boy, I can't see anything because of the camera. It's so overly exposed. Oh, they already got it in their. Oof! Right out front! Oh no, she missed. I feel like I am watching a USL broadcast. There's nobody here, there's no crowd sound, and the mic on the one girl is way too loud. Wait, why was there a whistle? Nothing happened! Even the Netherlands players are like, what happened? Oh, it's all the way back. Now they have to move it ahead again. kind of looks like a mixture of hockey and soccer, but I think everything looks like a mixture of sports that I've dealt with before, or seen, or like, whatever. I honestly think that the people that play this sport are pretty skilled because I could never make a stick like that work for any sport. Ooh, she got around. Oh, keep going, keep going. The problem with this is that you have to spend so much energy trying to get the ball on your stick to stay on your stick that it's impossible to speed up past the defenders. So it must be like almost impossible to score a goal. They blew the whistle again. Why? Like, I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to touch the other person's stick. But that's the one thing I don't like about this sport is that that's kind of weird. Oh, it's right out front. How do you miss that? Come on, man. So how are you supposed to take it away? You're just... You just... I don't I don't get it. I, I really don't. Why don't you just take it to the net yourself? It's not like the other team can take it away from you. Plus, it doesn't look like they're allowed to check each other either, so... I guess in case it gets blocked or something, but you're... Like, if you just run up with the ball... You, how are they going to take it from you? There must be something I'm missing. You must have to pass it a certain amount of times or something. Oh, it's played up now. Just take it to the net! She can't take it from you! Oh my god! She can't touch your stick or else it's a, it's a penalty or something. Okay, um, it wasn't as weird as rugby, I don't think. Uh, it was really weird. But I would still say rugby is weirder. I would give it a 5 out of 10. No, I would give it a 4 out of 10. It's just, it's not, it's just slightly better than rugby. I don't like it. I will not go out and uh, watch another uh, field hockey game by choice. Uh... It's just not enter as entertaining as regular hockey. With regular hockey, you just see guys cross-checking each other. You can check each... You can, like, bang on each other's sticks. If you bang on it too hard, though, it's slashing, obviously. But you can, like... You can be physical in that sport. You can't touch anybody or anything in this sport. It's... Uh, I don't know. It's kind of like soccer, 
but to an extremely light level, and it's also kind of like hockey to an extremely light level. So, basically, it's like a mixture of soccer and hockey, but without anything physical going on. And if hockey and soccer weren't at least a little bit physical, then it wouldn't even be worth watching. This is a sport I think Neymar would be good at. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. I would rank the sports I have watched so far. First, lacrosse. Second, this. And third, rugby. The next one I'm going to leave as a surprise, but it will be the last one of the season. Not the last video, the last sports reaction of the se season. So, if you guys have any further requests for what sports I should watch that aren't soccer, hockey, basketball, baseball, I'm missing one, football, rugby, field hockey, or lacrosse, then suggest them. Or tennis, because I've seen that too. But if you have any like abstract sports that I have never seen before, then feel free to comment them, because next season I may do this again if I can think of other sports. But if you comment golf, which is not a sport, you will forever be blocked from commenting on my channel. You will not have your comment approved, and you should stop watching my videos because you are a disgrace of a human being. Golf is a sport. Get out of here. Golf is a hobby. Playing an instrument is more of a sport than golf, and I'm not going to get into that rant now. But if you comment golf, you know the consequences. So, yeah, just don't comment golf. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and peace out, Brewskies.